Hey, it's Jared. This is my review of using Fluent CRM for the last 30 days. Now, Fluent CRM is a CRM slash email marketing tool that you can use within WordPress. Ideally, it was a replacement for more expensive services. You see, I've spent a lot of money on email marketing tools over the years, especially with a list of over 25,000 email addresses. I was spending on average of three to $450 a month just to have email marketing services. I don't send out a heavy amount of emails. I might send out maybe one a month. And that's a lot of money to spend if I'm only gonna be sending out one email a month and maybe a handful of automations. And so Fluent CRM, being that I have an online course website and that they integrate together with LearnDash, it was almost a no-brainer. It sounded too good to be true. So I thought, well, let's install Fluent CRM and give it a try and see exactly how it works out. And perhaps I'll also try it on a client site as well. So I'm going to walk you through my setup of using Fluent CRM as well as Fluent Forms, which I've been a longtime Gravity Forms user. I've been using Gravity Forms for at least a decade, maybe even longer. And Fluent Forms is the first Forms app that I have used on a couple of different sites just to replace Gravity Forms, not to replace it completely, but because Fluent Forms connects with Fluent CRM so well, it's almost a no-brainer to use Fluent Forms as well. So we'll look at that a little bit. First of all, let's take a look at my website. So I have a contact form, for example, one contact form here on my courses website. I also have a variety of landing pages as well that have forms similar to this that might collect a name and an email address. Those would be for the purposes of sending additional content or marketing my courses to people later on. And so with this contact form, if somebody chooses that they want my course updates or if they want my newsletter also, it's gonna automatically add them to lists right in the back end of WordPress, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, initially I was thinking, okay, a plugin that does all of this is probably going to completely choke my website and I'm gonna have poor performance. I'll probably end up needing a dedicated server just for my website so that it can do all of these things. Well, Fluent CRM has thought about all of that and has built their plugin to not completely wreck your server. And I'll explain how sending out 14,000 emails went and kind of walk you through the results that I had. And that was the first email that I sent out using Fluent CRM on this website. So let's look at the back end of WordPress. Here we have Fluent CRM. You can see this website has LearnDash and has a handful of other plugins as well. My email list currently has 26,500 contacts, which is a pretty good size list. I just recently added the second portion of my list to Fluent CRM. So you can see the big jump right here from around 14,000 to 26,500 because I finished off. I thought after sending this email, it went so well. I thought, let's just go ahead and add everybody else in so that we have everybody else here and I could just send emails from one place. You can see I've sent just over 14,000 emails, which about 13,800 of those were in one email campaign that went out. The rest of them are emails that have been sent to people to give them access to content or for them to sign up for something or contact me. And they decided that they wanted to get my newsletter so it then adds them to my email subscriber list, which would be my active contacts over here. So this essentially is your dashboard here. And we would then go to our contacts where we can manage contacts and I'll have to blur some of this out. So I apologize for blurring out a good portion of this page, but I can filter by lists, filter by tags, and then also filter by status as well. So these are common features that you would find in an email marketing system. We also have an advanced search here that lets us narrow down search based off of criteria. We have a lot of different criteria that we can choose from, especially if you're using WooCommerce, LearnDash, or any other plugin that Fluent CRM integrates with. So what's great about this is just easily being able to segment your list right from here. And then of course we can save those segments for later so that I can uh, further interact with that segment which is great. And there's also ways to create segments underneath lists. So let's search for me and I'll show you what a profile looks like. So let's go ahead and open my profile. You'll see that it has all of my purchase information in here, which I've had to blur out some of. I can see emails that I have received that have been sent to me. So we've got a couple of different emails here. 
We've got my purchase history in WooCommerce available here. I've got form submissions. So any forms that I have filled out and submitted are gonna show up here. I have notes and activity where I can write notes about this particular entry and see any activity that has taken place as well. I can view courses within LearnDash that this particular person is enrolled in, and I can see their status when they started and when they completed. And then because I also am using BuddyBoss on this site for community, I can see which BuddyBoss groups this particular person is in. Over on the right-hand side, we can see their customer interaction data, when their last order was, how long they've been on the site, their order count, their lifetime value, and their AOV. If there are any subscriptions, course enrollments, or groups, and everything that's right there. So a ton of customer information here. Typically, I would have to jump between several different plugins, go to WooCommerce to see the purchase history, go into LearnDash to see the student activity there, go into the Buddy Boss groups to see which groups a person is a part of. There's a lot of jumping around and Fluent CRM solves all of that. So if you have a site that has lots of different plugins running, chances are you're gonna be able to see all of that information within Fluent CRM. And that's why this is much more than an email marketing tool, it's also a CRM because a CRM brings together all of the different information, which makes it a customer relationship manager so that I can view all information about a specific contact there. No more going down to the WordPress user menu down at the bottom and trying to see what information's there and then jumping over to WooCommerce and looking under customers. I have everything in one place and I can see also whether or not they are currently subscribed. I can also change their subscription status here. I could change their user status from customer to a lead or something else, and I can create multiple statuses there. I can add lists. I can add tags to this particular customer. If they have a photo that I want to add, I can do that as well. There's just so much that you can do here under contacts. Now let's jump over to lists. Lists work just like anything else. I can create multiple lists, but I prefer to use tags. And so I use a very small amount of lists. I will use dynamic segments so that I can segment people out by whether they've engaged with emails over the last period of time. And those segments can then trigger automations, which is just where the true power in a tool like this comes in. And it's why I was paying a lot of money for Klaviyo and why I've paid a lot of money for ConvertKit and other tools in the past is to get these advanced automations. And I can do all of this right from within my WordPress site. And then I have all of my tags, which as I mentioned before, I do most of my organization with tags. And so based on what people are interested in, what people have signed up for, they're all tagged automatically because you can apply a tag automatically to somebody who purchases something in WooCommerce. You can apply a tag automatically to someone who subscribes to a course in LearnDash. So automatically customers are being tagged based on what they're doing on your website and it's all automatic. This is stuff that was very challenging to do using other tools, but I can do all of this right from within WordPress. And so here is the email that I sent out. Let's go ahead and open this one. This was telling everybody that I had migrated back to my WordPress course website. I did take a while and go over to Podia. I actually made another video about Podia and my one year with Podia as an LMS for selling my courses. And I moved back over to WordPress it's a whole story, I'm not gonna get into it, but essentially this is how the email performed. I had an open rate of 20%, which is pretty good because that list was not only current students that were more active within the last year on Podia. These are students that had have existed over several years because it is a pretty big list and they're students that have signed up for courses maybe three, four, five years ago. And so I knew that this big send was gonna be a cleansing period. When I was on Podia, I was using Podia's email marketing as well. I didn't move all of my emails over there. And so there are some people that haven't received an email from me for about a year. And so I knew that this campaign was also going to require some cleaning afterwards. So we had an open rate of 20%, a click rate of 1.72, a click to open rate of 8.57. And then I had 110 unsubscribes, which made sense because it's been a while since I've emailed a lot of these people. And then it shows me how much revenue I have made because of this particular email. 
Then we've got the email down below. I can also look at everybody that received the email and sort their status. I can sort by actions. I can see who opened it. I can also see all of my unsubscribers. I can get a revenue report, which shows me what people purchased based off of this. Yes, this email did only result in two purchases that had a cost associated, but I did have a variety of other people sign up for a, a couple of free courses that I have as well. So that's great. And then under the actions, I can also apply tags or remove tags and filter subscribers based on who opened the email, who did not open the email or who clicked links and automatically tag them. So after this email has sat for a while and I know that probably nobody's taking any action on it, I could then even apply a tag to all of the people who opened this specific email or people that didn't. So I can even create segments essentially and tag people right from within the campaign itself. Now it also has the ability to create recurring campaigns. We can set up email sequences. We can create multiple email templates as well. And there's a template builder built from within this and you can also import HTML templates and it has a nice email builder, which is simple to use. And then what's really powerful is the integration with forms. And so when you have Fluent Forms installed, you have access to all of your forms here and you have specific actions that are associated with the CRM function of Fluent. And so the forms is a standalone plugin. You don't have to use it with the CRM. You could just use Fluent Forms by itself. But when integrated, you also have these additional features here. And so I can see which lists and tags are associated to different forms. I have the short code for them and then some actions that I can take here. So when I'm creating a form for a landing page, I would do it in this section in the form section because it's creating a form that is going to be integrated with CRM. I would then, if I wanted to just create a regular form for collecting data and not associating with CRM, I could go and start out in the Fluent Forms plugin. And then of course, still connect it to Fluent CRM. So it doesn't matter what direction you go. I just find it easier to start out here. Now we also have automations. Automations are huge because I wanna have an abandoned cart automation. I'm working on a feedback automation that works and starts to send out after somebody has provided feedback on one of my courses. I have a new student welcome automation. And then I also have a couple of automations that are sent out when somebody shows an interest in something. So for example, I have a whole bunch of Notion templates that I make available for free. Somebody comes and puts in their name and their email address, they automatically get an email with access to those templates. But then a day later, I check in with them just to see how they're doing. And then I also offer my Notion course to them at a reduced rate if they take advantage of it within the next 24 hours. So these are all automations that I've set up right from within the back end of my WordPress site. Just to show you what the automation looks like for abandoned cart, it's exactly what you would expect an automation to look like that you might have built out in another tool. If somebody's abandoned the cart, they get a reminder email that asks them if they forgot something. It waits a day. They get another email here, and then it waits a little bit longer and lets them know that it is their last chance. And what's really cool about this is if you use WooCommerce on your site, you can have it automatically generate a temporary coupon code for them. So if the last chance was, hey, we don't want you to miss out on this, here's 10% if you check out within the next 12 hours, 24 hours or whatever it is, it can automatically create those, connecting them to WooCommerce so that they can get that discount and check out. I mean, these are tools and services that you would have to add on top of WooCommerce, on top of Klaviyo or whatever other email marketing tool that you're using. And they're more advanced integrations that are just very simple to use right from within here. And then I can view all of my abandoned carts, like anybody who has abandoned a cart, I can see it right here. And then I can see what they were looking to sign up for and what happened with the email. These were both skipped because it was under the cool off period, which means that they entered the automation too close to when they had recently received an email from me. So what I need to do if I wanna make sure that people get this uh, automation anyways is remove the cool off period from this particular automation so that these send out regardless. Now, if you're gonna send out email, you do need to connect Fluent CRM to something that's going to send out email on your behalf. If you don't configure something like this, you're probably not gonna have very good deliverability and perhaps won't even have many emails show up at all. And so there are a variety of different SMTP providers that Fluent CRM integrates with. I am using SendGrid. I use SendGrid for most of my client sites. 
And so I just went ahead and used the SendGrid integration that I already have. So essentially, Fluent CRM connects to SendGrid. SendGrid sends out the email on behalf of my website. And all of the email marketing tools that you're using are probably using something similar. They're using SendGrid or another tool like that to send email on behalf of their platform. So now let's jump into Fluent Forms and just look at what the Forms plugin has to offer. You can see I've got all of my forms listed here with some additional information about them. I can see the amount of entries that each form has, the amount of views. I could also see the conversion rate of those forms as well. You can build out pretty elaborate forms such as this form that provides feedback after somebody completes one of my course. There's a whole bunch of drop downs and text boxes for people to fill out, including the opportunity for them to sign up for my newsletter and get course updates. And when they hit submit, it's gonna automatically add them to a list if they need to be, and then tag them accordingly as well. And then Fluent Forms also has a handful of different spam protection tools that you can enable to make sure that you don't get form spam. I didn't notice these right at the beginning, and so I did get a bit of form spam almost immediately, but once I enabled them, it turned it off completely. So I was almost glad that that happened because once I was able to enable those, it all went away and I had true proof that it was in fact working and working well. So I've also installed this on a client's website and you can see here they have 785 contacts and we've sent out 939 emails to date. We've sent out four different campaigns. They've got a few tags and a couple of different lists. And what's worked out really well is that they have a lot of people submitting requests for estimates through their website. And when somebody requests an estimate through the website, we can then add them to an automation. And while they're waiting for their estimate, they can get a couple of emails warming them up to the company. And all of this is taking place through the back end of a WordPress website, which is absolutely fantastic and makes the process really simple. Our website is no longer just a website. It is a lead magnet tool. It is something that processes our email marketing and automations are triggered. And with additional plugins, we can even upload documents and reply back and completely have a tool that is managing our business right from within WordPress. And so this has been pretty exciting to me to be able to use Fluent CRM because Fluent CRM is rather inexpensive compared to using something like Klaviyo. So yes, you have to pay for the subscription to Fluent CRM, which is not bad, and then pay for an email service like SendGrid. Well, I'm paying $20 a month for SendGrid and managing, I'd say about 65 clients websites that connect and send email through that, as well as my website now where I'm sending out thousands of emails at a time and now client websites that are sending out perhaps a hundred or so emails a week. And all of this from within one SendGrid account. And for me as an agency, buying a multi-site license to Fluent CRM is cost-effective because now I don't have to have my clients sign up for a variety of different subscriptions to pay for different things. I can just wrap all of that up into one package for them and provide a great service all from one tool right from within their website. So I hope that this walkthrough of Fluent CRM and how I'm using it was useful. I know in the future, I'm going to dig deeper into automations and different things that I'm using with Fluent CRM. So you'll wanna make sure that you're subscribed here. You'll also wanna make sure that you go down to the link below and sign up for my newsletter so you can get access to some of the tips and tricks that I send out in between these videos and also notify you of new videos that are coming out. So sign up for that down below. You'll get to see the process of going through Fluent CRM, getting the emails and all of that. So it's a great way just to see how the tool works from the customer or the client side as well. And Fluent CRM, link down in the description below. If you use that link, it helps support the channel here. And I greatly appreciate that. But thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.